Pete will answer Joe. Ready. Free will answer Joe. Ready to once again get Kraken. Well, mostly ready. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit out of sorts because, for one, I left the headphones in my ears. And so I was a bit befuddled as to why I sounded different. But then again, for those of you who have the ears of a fox, you can tell that my voice is still different. And if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that I had been <clears throat> dipping into my In the Bank episodes uh, the past couple days because, well, unsurprisingly, well, not unsurprisingly, but kind of surprisingly, that cold progressed in a direction that I did not anticipate. It actually got much, much worse. Now, I've never actually bothered to look up the difference between the flu and the cold. I know that they, they seem often related. Uh, and I still don't think that I had the flu because I looked it up. And the major symptoms I could tell were basically, you know, a fever, uh, extreme fatigue and muscle soreness and vomiting. Um, didn't think I had a fever. Definitely didn't vomit, though. And I've always kind of felt uh, tired and a little bit sore whenever I got a cold anyway, so... Yeah, pretty certain it wasn't the flu, but it was a cold, a cold that I've never had before. So normally what happens is I get the warning signs, which is the tickling in, in the throat, then it becomes a sore throat, and then it kind of spreads up and down. You know, you get congestion in the lungs and congestion in the sinuses. This one, it started here, and then it moved up here, and then it hit here, and then it was all over. I didn't actually, I'm going to say, turn the corner until this morning, but I'm still really in for me effects, <coughs> obviously, um, and uh, I probably would be better off not recording another episode, yeah, although I guess I could force myself to, well, obviously I'm forcing myself to, but um, uh, since I'm out of In the Bank episodes anyway, uh, uh, my hands were kind of tied, um, unless I felt like recording some sort of other episode, like a short I'm Still Alive episode, but, well... If I could record I'm Still Alive episode, I can still record this, which shows that I'm still alive and and sort of, kind of, mentally still functioning. I only say sort of, kind of, mentally, because I'm still only sort of, kind of, mentally functioning. I don't even remember what's going on. But how are you all doing on this fine and glorious and wonderful Sunday morning? Uh, and we have, at least where I'm at, the first snowfall for 2019. Uh, naturally, of course, and it isn't, well, it's not an intense snowfall. It's a decent amount of snowfall. It would have been enough, I think, to kind of mess things up if it was on a weekday. But it does mean I am going to have to go out at some point and get the snow off my car. Uh, uh, normally, I would wait until, uh, well, normally we get the snowfall and then it warms up. And then by the time I have to drive, the snow's already melted off, or mostly, but it looks like this cold temperature is going to last for a while, so. Uh, fortunately, I turned the corner, so I should be well enough to at least go out there and do it, although it'll take me, like, a long time, even though it's not that much snow. But I certainly hope that you're doing fine and wonderful and fantastic and glorious. Uh, you got to be doing better than me. Uh, I, I should try not to laugh because I'll just cough up stuff. That's, uh, no bueno. No bueno. Oh, God. Man. I don't know. I mean, I was going to say that I'm not looking too good, but then I realized that even when I'm not looking too good, I still look pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can start things up, if I remember what to start up. We actually, I did a software update before this again just goes to show you how just how much out of sorts i am i didn't even have to throw any caution at it i was just like fine update maybe i was hoping for the excuse of uh of um yeah if the update failed then i would just record a short video saying i mucked up my environment and can't do anything how about uh, 2018 update? How long have I been sick? <laughs> I was 
supposed to tell myself, I'm trying not to laugh because laugh, I'm going to cough, but... Because uh, I know I did an update before this. And actually, I, cause I switched to this Ubuntu in December, right? Ah, uh, oh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so we got that up. Let's get that up. Oh. You know, the worst part about this cool thing. Well, I mean, you can never really plan for sicknesses, but of all the times for it to happen. Uh, let's just say that there are a number of things that I wanted to get done before a certain date. And when you have a wide enough window, if you have a number of things, and you just take care of one or two things a day, then that's fine. But I've been out of action for, well, since Wednesday. So, uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days. Uh, four days I didn't get stuff done. Didn't get stuff done. Me, English, good, yes. I didn't get anything done. In fact, if you hear the rumbling in the background, that is actually both my dishwasher and my washing machine. And I'm chugging the Aqua Seltzer right now as opposed to my LaCroix. Uh, the Aqua Seltzer, unfortunately, it, it helps. But it did not have the hope for effect that I was hoping for at the beginning of last week, which was to preempt everything. I preempted nothing, I got preempted. But yeah, I was saying that there's lots of things I... <sighs> there are a number of things I would like to get accomplished before a certain date. I will not say when. And now I've lost a number of days in which I could get those things done, which compresses the schedule. Uh, and of course, because I was sick, I've lost vacation time. And uh, oh, also by using my In The Bank episodes, I've lost those. So I have to re-record record new ones. I might actually try to record on a, a one or two today. Uh, then again, it's questionable about whether or not I should push myself, because I'm already going to push myself just by going out to get the snow off my car. Uh, what do we got here? C C D U I. But you know what? Let's just take it easy. Yeah. You know? That's a nice thing about snowy days, at least for where I'm at, my location. Um, we generally do get snow uh, two or three times during the winter. And uh, they're nice days to just take it easy. Um, much nicer if they happen on the weekdays, but... It would have been much better if it happened on a weekday when I was sick, because then I would have the double excuse. Freelancer Joe almost never goes into work when there's a forecast for snow. Well, certainly if there's more than an inch of snow on the ground, I don't go in. I think I've mentioned this before. It has something to do with my uh, distrust of other drivers. Alright, so NPM startup. We are on the demo, right? Demo, demo, okay, right. Let's make sure the demo still comes up after you update, which it should, which it should. Oh, so many things to do. And to be honest, I still haven't fully adjusted to my new project and how it affects the other areas outside of, of work because of the schedule change. <laughs> Which is funny because it doesn't seem like there's much of a schedule change, but it's amazing how much just one hour a day changes things. Oh, well, that's true, because really it's just one hour a day, Monday through Thursday, but then it throws on an additional four hours, actually five hours on Friday. So that's actually nine hours. So, what has Freelancer Zero been doing while he's been sick? Sleeping. Eating food that's not very good for him. I'm actually beginning to suspect, believe it or not, that I have a very specific allergic reaction to rice. 
Uh, rice in particular, which is not so good considering my ethnic background. Um, I'll have to look into that. At least I think it is. Never heard of this particular type of reaction. But it's almost obviously a dietary thing. Um, Alright, but you're not here to... Well, I, I, I don't know why you're here. I hope you're here for... Uh, well, whatever your reason for being here, I'm glad you're here. And I will try to make it uh, somewhat, uh, if not entertaining, mildly distracting from whatever your day is. I, I'm not going to aim for the highlight of your day. I would like it to be the highlight of your day. Actually, no. If it was the highlight of your day... Uh, nah. I like to be an important... Uh, I'm not sure I want to be... Hmm. See, it's kind of a give and take. On the one hand, I would feel important if I was the important part of your day. But on the other hand, and I wouldn't want you to feel bad about this, you really would have to consider if watching a YouTube video was an important part of your day. Um, there's more to life than watching things on the internet. And watching things in general. Well, then again, I guess it depends on what you're watching. I mean... YouTube videos are one thing, but like watching the stars in the sky, watching the sunrise, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, I can dig that. Bigger parts of the universe. Uh, but me talking about potential rice allergies? Eh. Eh. Alright, so my demo site does still come up, which is good. We cleared out all the technical debt. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to address the hot loading and figure out why it's not working. So that means research, which is also probably not going to be the highlight of your day. Uh, so we have to figure out, first of all, what we are using to do the hot loading. Uh, Uh, web pack client modules. My ability to scan for things is definitely decreased. Web pack dev server. Do, 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 uh, entry point, log level, react, 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 slick carousel. I'm going to have to look at the. Uh, I am almost certainly going to have to look at the... Alright, because I'm starting to get a headache just looking at this stuff. I'm trying to pick out any keyword. Yeah, alright. Let's look at... Do, 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 webpack uh, common. Uh, no. I haven't actually spent much time exploring the Webpack stuff beyond getting it up and running. So it's either all right. It's interesting that it's not dev. All right, common HTML loader, CSS loader, URL loader, management plugin. The that's funny. I'm not seeing it. Did I lose it? I'd imagine it's something to do with the webpack loader. Huh. I could have sworn that there was something in here that did hot loading. Strange. Did I lose it? Uh, webpack hot hot reload. Yeah.
da, 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 da. Hot module replacement. That sounds about right. I'm almost certain I had it before. Yeah, we'll pack dev server. Alright. Yeah, it should be in dev server. I use dev server, don't I? Dev server client blah, 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 blah. Well, let's double check to make sure I use dev server even to begin with. Uh, do 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 web pack dev server. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I install web pack dev server. Fine. And my package.json, when I say start, open config with pack dev. You know, okay, that's how I start it. That seems right. Uh, why don't I close dev? Uh, no, I don't need this. Uh, create a Bible RC, we got that. Load pack and fit, blah blah blah, already got that. Yeah, I want the client. I want the client to hot reload. Ha. certain that wasn't necessary. There we go. Really? Is this all I need? Hot true? And my dev server? Alright, so we got two uh, ways of doing this. One is. Adding React Hot Loader. React Hot Loader patch. This may be interesting.
All right, go on. Uh, okay, I would much rather have live reloading, actually. Dev server will monitor the code dependency of these entry points and repeat them on Okay, so let's see where the entry is. Entry is index.js. Okay, we've got that. Uh, Alright, only concern the file name. Do I have output? Module, plugins. I do have output, bundle.js, okay. I do not have dev server specified. All right, so let's add dev server. So I never had dev server specified. I didn't have to configure it before. I wonder why I had to do it now. Uh, it must be an update. <sighs> so we don't need this. Alright, so we don't need it. We'll leave it there. I don't believe we go to assets. I believe we go to dist. Right, that's where output is. Output is dist. Okay, so we'll change this. We'll put this in here, but we'll change it to dist. I should make myself smaller. It's hard because I'm a big man. Local file system or static HTML file should be placed. Uh, put your main static HTML page here. Uh, I'm almost certain that still goes under disk, doesn't it? Because I only have one static HTML page. I might have to play around with that. Yeah, I didn't have to configure this before. So this looks like it's new. The local file system where the static file should be placed, put your main static HTML here to enjoy live reloading. I mean, I throw everything in this. this uh, I guess this is actually going to be um, SRC well, let's look at their structure yeah okay so I guess for me it's source Content base. Um, I don't know, do we need compress and port? I didn't specify compressor port before, uh, so we'll leave those alone for now. Let's see if that starts up.
Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Eh. I can at least use <coughs> my, uh, hmm. what's the word? Ah, there we go. <sighs> Unhandled. Really? Because of this? Actually, I, first of all, this probably shouldn't be in common. This should be in uh, what pack dev. Oh, okay. And there, we already have dev server defined there. Alright, so that's one thing. So let's move these things here. Content base. Alright, so I already specified content base. Well, if I already specified content base, the only different thing was basically telling it to watch the content base in the public path. That's kind of weird. Let's see if that works. Ah, system limit for number of files watched reached. Let's work backwards, right? If we tell it not what the public path is, let's see if that does it. Fair enough. And if we tell it not to even bother watching the content base, does that do the trick? So that does the trick, but it's not going to hot load because it's not watching the content base. Maybe I need to do, maybe I actually do need to tell it to compress. Alright, so we'll try to do uh, compress and we'll do the port too. Because basically it's the same configuration that I have before. Press, we say the port, and let's see if that comes up. It should, should, maybe. I don't see why that would cause a problem. No, it's actually when we actively tell it. When we actively tell it to uh, watch the content base is when it barfs. Okay, so it's going to a different port now. Which is fine. I was okay with the other port, but whatever. 
Now, even if I make a change, it's not going to affect anything. I don't believe so. Yeah, actually, at this point, I'm almost tempted to record tomorrow's episode, too. Basically, just break here and then pick right back up. Because this is an interesting problem. Then again... Uh, Alright. So, if I... Throw those on, then it still probably sh won't work. I mean, I'm hoping it would, but it probably won't. And we'll do the same file thing about too many things open. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually could just be a configuration part on my end. Uh, let's do just a quick check to see if there's a simple way to fix this. Let's see if that works. I mean, it's on the internet. It has to work, right? Let's give it one more shot. different uh but we are way past the 30 minute mark so we'll wrap things up for now peachy great nice just how i wanted my first episode back but you know since i'm not a, at 100 percent, clearly works probably not going to be at 100 percent did it just do something else different no no i didn't uh, so I'll wrap this up for now. Um, I would do the cool kid words, but at this point, I'm thinking if I got any comments, they would be, well, cool kid words about liking and subscribing, commenting, and suggesting. And I hope you join me tomorrow when hopefully, one, I'll feel better, and two, hopefully my content will be better. Um, but until the next time, I hope that you take care and God bless.